The first when we started doing art, we were not used to the art world because we never studied art. We never went to an art school. And I was actually not so familiar with going to art galleries. And I was shocked because when we came into like one of these white cubes in New York, we were living in New York for a year, you would like pass a counter that would be really, really high. And then you would have the secretary looking up with very tired eyes on you and just look at your dress coat and say, he's not gonna buy anything. And then looking down, tapping on her computer again. And you didn't feel very welcome. And then you had like neat small artworks for sale hanging on these white walls. And it all looked very clinical and antiseptic. And we were starting to question, why is all exhibition spaces looking the same? It's only McDonald's that look the same all over the world. And they even change a bit from country to country, but the exhibition space look the same. So that was actually just because we came from outside as two aliens in the art world that we started to question the mechanisms of the art world. And then we found out, hmm, these structures are also applying to prisons and hospitals and a lot of public offices also look so sterile. So hmm, we went on and then we started doing other kind of environments and looking into other kind of architectural situations. The show is called uh, The One and the Many. It makes you think about the one outstanding individual versus the big masses. The one and the many is also referring to the big laws of community feeling that we today, instead of going out in public space at night time and enjoy a friendship with each other out in the open, we sit in front of our television or in front of the computer, like searching for realities that are somewhere else. The show is also very much about the sad tale about what happened to public space. Public space that is a place we don't want to be in at night time for a great part because we fear that we will get robbed or mocked. A place that is more for junkies and for drug dealers, rent boys. We have, of course, done complete reconstructions before. Uh, in 2004, for instance, we made a, uh, a subway station uh, in the basement space of a kunst hall in New York. So people would go down the stairs and find themselves waiting for a train that never arrived. And it looked as if this subway station had closed in the 80s sometime when Reagan was uh, the big boss of the world. Um, but we also, like many other times, displaced a situation or an environment from one place to another. You could go into the National Gallery of Copenhagen and you find a hospital room that we made full with patients. One could say that we are more inspired by uh, filmmakers today in the way we do our installations than uh, other artists. Ingmar Bergman has played a really important role for us and also Fassbinder. This aspect has of course become clearer uh, in the last few years. I mean, maybe uh, starting a little bit with the aforementioned subway station in New York, but especially from um, the work in, uh, at the Venice Biennial two years ago, uh, where there are more narrative layers coming in. It's a more synthetic um, presentation of art where you sort of combine a lot of different materials, a uh, lot of different situations, 
uh, lots of different art forms often as well because it can be TV, there's sound, there's live actors, uh, there are installations, sculptures, uh, yeah. I think many of our artworks can be understood by a general public. It's not the more arty, twisted kind of uh, elite that is making the avant-garde today. It is actually a lot in the mainstream behavior where you find these so-called stereotypes who actually always act in a different way than stereotypical that you find the progressiveness, the real wild thing, the underground, the subculture. I think the visitors will maybe recognize elements from their own lives and also from other places they visited, boyfriends they had, girlfriends they had, families they've known. Um, there's enough maybe to start to make new narratives and we like to invite the audience to complete the stories that we start.